All right, guys, welcome back. Come by the foundation. Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Mask is showing a prowler stash close. Oh, that's cool. Makes sense only that only Miles could do it. Webs will keep the will in place. Can't hide from me. <laughs> hey, Haley, what's up? So all that help you gave folks at Brooklyn Visions, they banded together to make you a thank you gift. That's sweet, but Spider-Man can't accept gifts, unless it's hugs. Haha, -ha. hugs are great, but I think you'll put this gift to good use. Swing by the rooftop garden when you get a chance. Hey, Miles. Got an alert from the stash at my old place. You lived in that penthouse? Back in the early Prowler days, when I was on Fisk's payroll. Fisk? Yeah, I know. Still remember when I got the keys. I wanted to impress my big bro so badly, but he was ashamed because he knew how I got it. Whatever Dad felt, I know he always loved you. Appreciate that, nephew. Maybe one day I'll believe it. Still a lot I don't know about Uncle Aaron and Dad. Hey, yo. He's yeah, perfect. Dude. Brooklyn Visions is the best. Okay. Huh? I'm gonna miss this place when I go to college. Does this come with colors as well? Yes, it does. Ooh, this one's nice. But, uh. Switch back to Pete. Chief Clark, 
Everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Woo! Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Talk to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with everything. I'll call him right now. We're not ready to let go. Don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. Hmm. I'll talk to you later. Alright, we got our crime, Spider-Man. More stolen tech. Off the streets it goes. Oops. Trying to make a right turn. Is that weapon steel going down? Hope you guys kept your receipts. We got this. We got this. Stay on the ground. Oh shit! I didn't notice it was a. Uh, you can't stop us, Spider-Man. Raven. Oh, forgot the objectives. <laughs> oh, that's right. We should have enough to get this. I love that. Spider-Man, over here. Hey, Chief. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. 
The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. Or spider bot mission. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider Man. Thank you. Hey, Clark. Did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. <laughs> Time to test out my pulse blast then. I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider Man. Leave it to me. I said someone else is still trapped. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on. How prophecy? Follower of the flame. Oh shit! This is how we. Keep looking for supplies. 
We'll need them in the days ahead. Flame is disappointed in you. What are they? Oh no. I didn't say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just. I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Get out of here! Hell yeah, that was badass. Oh, the fool's beacon! The prophecy said you'd face us eventually. Prophecy? Oh, man, I've always wanted to be in one of those! Not crazy about the beacon, though! Endless fighting, death by building, grow four arms and become a giant. A bird with the rest of the unworthy. That's it. Oh, okay. Whoa, guys, can we take this outside? <laughs> Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously. We're better than you ever will be. This is all part of the problem. Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming! You don't deserve our new world. We seriously need to upgrade our damage. Oh, he's so hot. Yo. We know who this is. So what's your deal? There you are. Hey. You never did like my smoking. Hey. The little life's call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. Damn, she's ruthless. She said they made their choice. Yuri's changed. Keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. That was a fail. profile stories these days but if you have time i'd like to forward a public thank you on your show i'm a bva senior who would never have gotten an a on their final cinematography project if it wasn't for spider-man's help 
I was so grateful, I decided to name my new hamster after him. It meant a lot that he took the time to help me, given how much he's had to deal with lately. Sometimes, the smallest good things make ripples. If you read this, thanks for reading. Sincerely, Odyssey. Oh, Odyssey, I love stories like this. Small things make such a difference. So, here is my challenge for all of you. Do something small today. Give a stranger a compliment, buy a friend a coffee, put a coin in the meter next to yours, anything. You never know what good it'll do. That seems like enough advice for this episode. The fire department's on its way, FYI. fires. Good. The fire department can handle things from here. <laughs> Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Article Accelerator. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was gonna give him a tour, let him Aside for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Standard. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Young. That data does not cross-tabulate with the AI learning it did during the 
last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young. Sounds familiar. You must be Peter. It's so nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? These drones? We'll protect them? Little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves, aka bee killer wolves. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! <laughs> Done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. Is this thing creating organs? That was Doc Connors in the okay. background. A moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. I was about to say, shouldn't Peter already know? Like, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. We know lizard existed. I guess lizard doesn't know. So that was crazy. Peter, Spider-Man. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. So much to see here. Where do I even start? Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Norman Osborne, that's how. Hmm. 
Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. Must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. See what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs. Whoa. Imagine if we had that technology in real life. Increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the I'm sure maybe we have something similar, but not on this scale. Is being put to use saving lives. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agriculture. Scared the shit out of her. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an animated process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has Have you been out to the Hudson Valley facility? Yeah, once. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. What the hell is that? I'll try to come back. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco friendly roofing materials. So cool. This is like. A kid in a toy store. For Peter. Is there a way to, uh. Where's Dr. Connors again? Can we interact with him? Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in? It was in here, wasn't it? Got to think this through before. Oh, okay. We already looked through there. Let's head up. Particle accelerator. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So. Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, 
when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen. I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Hmm. I like puzzles like these. <laughs> they're simple, but Using this they're fun. We're on track to I know a lot of people didn't like them in the first game, but I very much oh. enjoyed them. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just... Alright, before we go any further, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I will see you guys in the next part.